All right, this is an unboxing of Dell Mini 12, freshly ordered. I'm gonna unbox, I'm gonna show you what this looks like inside. All right, there's some Dell packaging. This is the shiny new baby itself. There's a little label that says, connect the AC adapter before turning on this laptop. All right, there's a little anti-scratch cover on there. <clears throat> there's the Mini 12. All right, this is the model with the six cell battery, so you can see it kind of sticks out like that a little bit. Yep, yep. And uh, on this side, what is that? Two USB, one VGA, power, and uh, Kensington lock. And the front is just clean, there's nothing there. The other side uh, is Secure Digital, NMC, and uh, looks like a line in, and a microphone, another USB, and uh, Ethernet. Okay, so there's the bottom, just a bunch of screws and a bunch of vents down there. It doesn't look like easy access to RAM or anything at all which a lot of netbooks have, but apparently this one doesn't have that. This has, the RAM is integrated on the motherboard, so that would make sense. All right, so I'm gonna turn this thing on and I'll show you what else is in the box. Um, this is the power adapter. It's actually incredibly small. Usually these things come with some kind of big brick but uh, that's pretty small. All right, it's got a little Velcro strap on there and then that's where you're gonna plug it in, okay. Um, Inspiron setup guide, no CDs in there, it's just paper. Ubuntu setup guide, again, just a little slip of paper. Uh, there's the Ubuntu DVD that it comes with, all right. 804 and uh, this just says Dell driver and utilities all right I don't know if that's just Ubuntu or if it's XP and everything in the world all right I'll have to open that up but since there's no DVD drive I guess we won't be able to do that right away so okay let's just look at the desktop here and uh, let me scoot this down we'll look at the desktop for just a second and then we'll be done with our unboxing. Uh, there is the keyboard. I really wish it went all the way to both sides, all the way left and right. I mean, why not? Why don't they fill up the whole bottom of this thing with keyboard? Okay, because it's just a little bit smaller than a, than a standard size keyboard. It could almost be a full size keyboard, actually, if, they would, uh, if they'd fill the whole thing up there, but they didn't, so. Anyway, standard stuff here. Uh, my first impression is these keys look pretty small. These little, uh, the period, the comma, the forward slash, those look pretty tiny. You have to take some getting used to there. There's the power plug. This is a power indicator light right there. Uh, <clears throat> if you can't see that well, these are the, there's the clickers. They kind of click nicely. They go down an awful lot. I kind of like just little tiny clicks, but oh well. They go down an awful lot. The laptop itself is pretty heavy in the back because of that big battery you can see there. So it does, it feels really thin right here, which is really nice, but uh, it's pretty heavy in the back there. That's a 12 inch screen. Looks pretty nice. It's not LED backlit, it's just a standard uh, TFT backlit screen. And um, anyway, that's the unboxing of the, of the Dell Mini 12. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Looks like a pretty nice machine. This is the 1.6 gig uh, Atom processor, and it's the 60 gig drive and the six cell battery with Ubuntu. So I'm gonna try it out with XP on it, I think, and just see how it runs. Uh, but I'm a Ubuntu fan too, so we'll just see how that goes. All right.